Does four hour video session sound fun to you? Uh, it depends if it's How do you the see video it session of the office TV series. I love it. Oh. But if it's the video session of, I mean, okay, knowing Ergen Ataman and his style in the previous teams, I'm really, I'm kind of sure, I'm confident saying that he probably just tuned two games in a row, like Panaikos Olympiakos, and then Panaikos, they played Peristere. And knowing Ataman's style, and I did a, let's say, this is my also well-educated guess based on the research I did, there's very high <laughs> chance that they just watched both full games, just fast forwarding timeouts and commercials, but watching all the plays. And <laughs> I've asked some people, you know, how these long videos, it's not the first time Ataman puts, a, you know, long video session. So I asked some guys how these look like from the inside. So usually Ataman is not very vocal during those video sessions, but instead he prefers to rewind those mistakes all over and all over again from, you, you can see the same replay twice. You can see the same play for like repeated for five or six times. Mm. It's <laughs> up to you, you know, to understand quicker the mistake you did and just uh, uh, make everybody sure that you're not going to repeat it again. Sometimes he's not saying basically anything during those video sessions. It's not like he's just stopping plays and explaining what's wrong, what's bad. In a lot of cases, it's for you to understand your mistake. So you are telling me this was a four hour film session in more or less silence. No, I'm, I'm not saying it's, it's his style. I'm not, <laughs> it's his style. I, I wasn't there. I wasn't in yeah, that yeah, video session. Sure. So maybe it was different. It's a new team. Ataman is, is not coaching in Turkey anymore. So maybe he, he did some different games. In a lot of cases, sometimes his assistants step up, you know, to be more vocal. But Ataman's style is just to be more silent, just to watch, just to relax, just to pay, play some clips on the replay. And that's you, why it usually takes so long. Usually, you know, the film sessions are what, like 10, 20 minutes in, in, in professional teams. You know, before games, you watch one day, 10 minutes of, of the opposing team offense, defense. Then the next day you watch 10, 15 minutes of players uh, tendencies and what they like to do. Uh, then maybe there, there, are, there, there is something more, it depends on the team. And after the game, it's usually a similar situation. It's usually, you know, obviously it depends a lot on the coaches, but let's say the majority of the teams, it's like what, 15, 20, they're, the teams are trying not to load players with a lot of information they're trying to the assistants are trying trying to pick out the main things let's say what we're bad and uh to help you know be better you know at these things so four hour film session is more of a message to the players that if you don't understand what i'm saying in words you are going to have to suffer these four hours because you know i don't know another way of how to explain you these things and if you see them all and over and over and over again, then maybe you finally understand because clearly, you know, the words weren't enough in the, in the first couple of weeks. So it's like saying, please don't do the same mistakes again because we, are, we, we, can, do, we can do these four hour sessions, you know, video yeah. every week. It was just this lengthy and boring message that he sent, but it worked. Absolutely. I mean, they, they beat uh, Bayern Munich by seven uh, at home. And probably that's what sometimes you need, especially in the beginning of the season to set the tone and to s set the bar uh, for your players.